give you some, some very top level highlights of this new CMO study which we recently published. The, the emerging theme that came out of this was this idea of going from stretched to strengthened. 79% of the CMOs we interviewed uh, said yes, they are expecting an expansion, a significant expansion in the complexity of their world. Half of them said that they were unprepared. So coming out of the study, three primary thoughts. The first one was that we need to deliver value to empowered customers. But the other thing is taking charge of the growing volume and velocity of data. The second big thought was this idea of fostering lasting connections. The point of relationship, not transaction. And then the third, the third big thought coming out of this was this idea of capturing value and measuring results. These all require us to use technology. And, um, and yet we see many, many barriers. Interestingly, the top one was cost. And the second top thing was the lack of certainty about return on investment. What's the return on investment? What's interesting about social media is it, it really is what it says in the tin. It's taking media and making it social. It's about making it about something you want to talk about, something you want to share, something that's fun. If you think about the social media landscape, it's an ecosystem. So content is constantly shared, commented on, changed, moved pushed around this ecosystem, you start to think about how can I put my brand in the centre of that ecosystem, because that's the holy grail. Links is all about giving guys confidence to get the girl. How do we really substantiate that? How do we create content and owned assets that can really deliver that message in a fun way that's inherently shareable? It's not about the money you invest, it's about the thought you invest in, in what the content's saying. Does it actually work? Does it give you any sales? Does it give you any return on investment? And how do you know? We got a control group, we got a, a match control group, and we got a group that were engaged with our Facebook page. We tracked them before, we tracked them during, we tracked them after on the same measures. You can measure return on investment. 